In the first world, it's becoming harder to basically migrate or to move into those countries. But in Panama, the opposite, it's taking place, basically become because the Panamanian economy is going through a economic bonanza, which is historic. This never happened before. And just to give you an example, 2012, economic growth was 10.6. Repeat, 10.6. This has translated literally into a labor shortage. There are not enough people in Panama for the amount of jobs that the economy is producing. Therefore, the government came up with this brilliant idea, and I mean brilliant because really you cannot find another country in the world with this type of, um, should I say, measures in order to facilitate migration. Basically, if you belong to the following list of so-called friendly nations, which is just basically If you belong to that list, basically you can move to Panama automatically. When I mean automatically, the law basically indicates you form a new business, I will explain about it later, you either buy an ongoing concern or you get hired by a Panamanian company. In the first world, it's becoming harder to basically migrate or to move into those countries. But in Panama, the opposite, it's taking place, basically become because the Panamanian economy is going through a economic bonanza, which is historic. This never happened before. And just to give you an example, 2012, economic growth was 10.6. Repeat, 10.6. This has translated literally into a labor shortage. There are not enough people in Panama for the amount of jobs that the economy is producing. Therefore, the government came up with this brilliant idea, and I mean brilliant because really you cannot find another country in the world with this type of, um, should I say, measures in order to facilitate migration. Basically, if you belong to the following list of so-called friendly nations, which is just basically 